Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight's video is going to be about this uh, sequential bipolar switch. It's actually a John Bedini Bendy Cole circuit. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, this is what it is. So you could get a picture of that, and save it. For those of you who haven't tried it before, these are all transistors on this. Um, the motor we're going to be looking at is right here. So this is my bipolar switch right here. We have NPN, PNP, and then NPN, PNP. They're kind of switched around um, to do the switching that way. So, and then instead of a Hall effects, we have optical timing on the back. So when one's off, one's on, and then at the very middle, both of them are off. Um, so it just goes one to the other, back and forth. And I um, have the scope on so you guys can take a look. Um, so we're going to be using 12 volt batteries as most of my videos are. 12.7 and then here's our amp meter. That's the input. And then this is our amp meter for the output. Uh, I have a, a pulse width modulator circuit right here to run the speed. And um, the, the output on this comes right off the main coil comes down and out and then goes to a full bridge rectifier and then from there we go into the capacitor and it goes through a diode and then through the amp meter and then back to the second battery and um, there's definitely ways to tune this to make it work better and some ways make it work worse and um, we're going to take a look at that here right now so here's one more screenshot at circuit here so we're gonna fire this thing up so as you can see on the scope here so here we go so this will go up to about an amp. One amp is about a thousand RPMs. Yeah. There we go. Close to a thousand at one amp. Um, you can see the waveform as it's going back and forth, back and forth. But to make this the most efficient, we're going to start backing this down. You can see the, the 100 milliamps on the left. So we're just going to keep bringing this down to about 300 milliamps on the input and 100 milliamps on the output. So right up there. So that's most efficient. The RPMs. right around 500 uh, RPM but we have 300 milliamps in the input and 100 on the output so that's 33 uh, percent energy return running the motor in this way so not too bad um, the transistors definitely use a little more power than than the MOSFETs that I normally use uh, but it runs real smooth you get a little bit more torque because of the bio bipolar switches and um, it runs really nice so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching